I was super determined to get her to latch. Hey mamas, how's it going? My name is Katie and today I'm making a video on how I got my baby to latch after she was on a bottle. So I am currently a mom of two. My oldest one is two and a half and I have a little baby boy who is five months old and I am currently tandem feeding both of them. But it wasn't always easy. My first baby, the two and a half year old girl, ended up, she was in the hospital for the first week of her life and she had some issues latching because of that. Um, they had her on a bottle because that's the only way she could eat at that time and I was pumping like a crazy person and my body doesn't really respond too well to the pump and also I was really really overly stressed and overly tired and so that really took a toll on our breastfeeding relationship but I was super determined to get her to latch and so if you're watching this video you probably are in the same type of situation and I feel for you and I just want you to know that there is hope and you just have to be very very determined so so basically while I was pumping I was trying all the things that they say to do I tr I drank the mother's milk tea um, I was staying really hydrated I was eating well I was eating oatmeal because a lot of people say to eat oatmeal um, but still my body wasn't responding to the pump so I was really getting exhausted and I was wanting my baby to latch so so bad so finally I decided to try the nipple shield and I went to a lactation consultant and she really really helped me I if you guys are at your wits end and um, you need professional help definitely go seek professional help if you tried all the things that you know how to do then seek professional help um, hopefully this video will give you enough, enough tips to get by, but anyways, that might give you a peace of mind if you um, do go to a lactation consultant. Don't be afraid to reach out. So we started off with a nipple shield and um, she was getting really fussy at the boob. Like she was used to having a bottle, so she was used to having the fast let down. Even though we did the feeding where it was, um, I can't remember what it was called, but you kind of like give and take, give and take. But she still was getting really fussy at the boob because she was just wanting the milk right then and I felt like she always seemed hungry. So that was really stressful to me. So I used the shield so it would help her, her sucking reflex to um, suck and I would use that. And then we went on a trip out of town and so I was super exhausted. I took my pump in the car with me and I ended up plugging it into the car and I was pumping on the road just nonstop. I was just pumping, pumping, and I was just barely keeping up with her demands. Like I was just super tired. And so we were on our trip and it was like the middle of the night and I had like probably two ounces of milk left. And I basically just gave that to her and that was it like i i was just like okay you're gonna have to breastfeed you know and i remember my mother-in-law saying because i told her my dilemma i was saying that when i pumped that i would get all the milk out and then she would want to breastfeed like it was just i don't know it was our timing was way off so like, but by the time she would want to breastfeed, I didn't have any milk left. Like, it was just kind of one of those things. So it was like constantly I was pumping. And then she had the idea of like, why don't you just pump one side and then let her have the other side? So I started to do that and it actually worked. So I don't know why I didn't think of this before, but to stimulate the one side, I would pump the one side and then let her breastfeed from this side and then when she was done breastfeeding from this side I would pump this side and let this one kind of fill back up so it actually worked and she continued to get milk I was finally getting more milk coming in because she was stimulating my breast milk flow <laughs> and if you know how breastfeeding goes then um, you know that it's kind of more of a supply and demand situation 
So yeah, so it totally worked. And um, as far as the shield goes, because I was using the shield for a while, I would just let her use the shield and she would breastfeed with that. And then once I started to get a letdown, I would just take the shield off really quick. And I know it's kind of hard to like unlatch them and all that kind of stuff, but I took her, I took her off, took the shield off and then put her back on. And then she finally one day just got it. And she was just, just breastfeeding without the shield. So it was amazing. And I know you guys can do it too. Just have faith and keep on trying. Don't give up. I remember I had my husband go down and get a box of formula and I was like, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. And he, we had that container of formula until it expired. Like I never even opened it because he basically just told me like, you can do this. And he was just my rock. So I just hope that you have a good support team and don't forget to reach out to people if you are feeling like you need help. Don't be afraid to ask for help because this is the time you need it and things will get better. But just for now, you need help probably <laughs> with the baby and you know, all that good stuff. It's just, it's pretty tiring. I wanted to give you guys a few tips on successfully breastfeeding. Um, when the baby is on the boob and kind of seeming fussy, like, like they're just wanting milk to hurry up. They don't want to wait. Um, cause my body for some reason takes a little while sometimes to have a letdown. Um, I just like squeeze my boob like this, like softly. And I also take a lot of water. Like if I gulp down water, sometimes that just gives me a letdown in itself. Like I'm not even breastfeeding and I'll just drink a bunch of water and it just like starts to flow. Like it's crazy. So, um, I'll do that and drink a bunch of water. And then I will also like squeeze my boob while the baby is nursing and that'll trigger a letdown. So, um, so if you need to trigger your letdown for your baby, um, try those things. Um, tip number two is just to stay calm. And I know that that is sometimes harder or easier said than done, but, um, your body, if you're tensed up and like just stressed out and you're trying to just breastfeed your baby and like wanting your milk to come out, it can be a little bit counterintuitive. Um, so try as best you can. Like even if you just have to have some, smell some lavender um, essential oils, ask your partner for a little shoulder massage. Try to get as much rest as you possibly can. And that's actually my next tip, tip number three is um, to sleep when you can. And I know everybody says this, but seriously do. It definitely helps. I notice when I sleep really well, I get a lot more milk coming in. Tip number four is just to keep going. I want to encourage all of you mommies um, just to keep on going and keep trying. Definitely always keep in mind fed is best. So if you have to, you know, um, feed your baby with donor milk or even formula, there's no shame in that. But if you're really determined on breastfeeding and you think it's very, very important, um, like I do, I feel, I felt, and I still do feel like it's such an important aspect of being a mom and um, giving your baby what they need. It's just such a blessing and it's so empowering to know that my breast milk is what feeds them, is what grows them. They grew inside of me with all the nutrients I put into my body for nine months and now they're outside of the womb and now they're growing even bigger on my breastfeeding, <laughs> my breast milk. So it's pretty empowering. So for all your mommies that are wanting to experience that, please just keep going and um, stay determined because it will happen. You were made for this. Your boobs were made to breastfeed your baby. Like it's, it's just one of those things that I feel like has gotten lost. Our parents' generation, maybe their parents' generation, um, it was kind of like a stigma type thing to where people were too modest to breastfeed or they um, were actually brainwashed by the formula companies because they wanted to make money. Um, so they were discouraging moms um, from breastfeeding, saying that our milk wasn't good enough for our babies. And so they ended up making money on feeding our babies, which that's a whole nother thing. I can get into that some other time. My tip number four is just to keep on going. 
Um, my last tip, tip number five, I already actually mentioned this earlier, but seeking professional help if you have um, the resources for that, please uh, reach out. There's uh, La Leche League that always, um, around here at least, they hold um, meetings that you can go to and you can meet up with other moms and all that kind of stuff. Reach out to people that are holding those meetings and maybe they can help you out. My insurance ended up paying for my lactation consultant um, appointments, so I was super so like I said, now I'm tandem feeding both of my babies and I have plenty of milk and I'm feeding my toddler like two to three times a day and I'm feeding my baby on demand as much as he wants and he's growing. He's really kind of chunky, <laughs> so it's kind of funny um, to see that my body is producing enough for my babies and it's amazing. So I really wish all of you so much luck and please leave a comment below if you have any questions that I might be able to answer for you. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and good luck breastfeeding. Bye mamas.